which pitch was the prime suspect? I can't. I'm not going to. I'm not, I'm not going to name it. Last couple of days, so um, I'm going to give these a whirl. Same with Wellington's off. Where are you going? You've got those there, but I think you're going to, you're going to prefer these here, right? Okay. Yeah. No, that's not. Yeah. All right. Hang on. Up soon. But meanwhile, pop the parrot. Pothole roads in the country. Come on, Asha. I'll do a long one. Where are you going? Come on. Come. <sighs> she won't go because it's raining. She's at a whittle. You're coming. Come on. <sighs> she hates the rain. She's literally taking me back. Oh, come on, then. Stupid dog. Um. It has been torrential overnight, really bad. Um, it's progressively. Oh, hang on a minute, she might go for a walk. Are they going to be getting worse? Although it's going to warm up. Right, rushes. Oh, right, she's on it. She's on a. She's on a walk. Goodness me, really wet. Right. Oh. Fortunately, the people we've got in this afternoon are all on hard stuff. Now I've got one camper. Um, I've got one tent on today, and then we're virtually full this afternoon on hard standing. That is. Let's get this day rock and rolling. Look at the state of it. It's all underwater again. shower head is on and the person I'm suspicious took it we've got some CCTV I can't put it in and I'm not going to name names but it would appear they left the site or somebody did at I think it was quarter to one this morning a uh, door's been left open on one of the toilets and there's a lot of water in so I need to go and give that a, a mop out weather. An hour ago, you saw it, it was throwing it down. I mean, in an epic way. And then an hour later, look at this here now. Beautiful day. Never rains here, does it? Apart from overnight. Uh, absolutely bonkers weather. I know. It's just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Right. I've got a screwdriver. I need to... We'll get a couple of bits and bobs. Um, everybody's gone early. As I think I mentioned before, didn't I? Well, somebody went at quarter to one this morning. Super early. And let's go and look and check a couple of hook up posts. Morning, Julie. How are you? You okay? Julie's quite happy there. Start on her eggs. Uh, she must be a, is it just 10, 11 days, 12 days since we spotted them, something like that. Apparently it's 28 days to um, incubate. Right. right, so we've got a big uh, super thanks, or thank you, should I say, for sending super thanks. Peter Webster, thank you. And was it Jess, Angela and Chris sent over a coffee. You didn't need to do that, um, but thank, thank you anyway. That will stave up into the purse for when Sandra comes up. What a beautiful day. It only rains, you know, around here when it's about bin day. Funny enough, it was bin day yesterday, that's why it rained last night. <laughs> Torrential rain. So this afternoon, I think, I don't know if I mentioned before, but I think we've got two hard standing pitches left. Um, and everything else is, or should be, full. And I've just got a people who left pitch number three. I said, oh, you didn't give us a tag to get out. Pretty sure I did, and all me do, even if you're in a motorhome, always give a tag because if you need, if you have an emergency during the night, you need to let your emergency vehicles in, or you need to get out. You need to get off so anyway. <laughs> they went and then came back five minutes later and go, "We've just found the tag." So I've got that. Uh, oh, wait. 
right, I've just done my bits on. Sorry, I can't, I'm not going to tell you what I've been doing, but I've just been doing some bits that I needed to do as well. Right, uh, so all this rain, this mad rain we've had, apparently has now stopped. And we're now in for some strong winds, but some high temperatures. So I'm sweating the toilet door open, and and and, and a couple of hours later, uh, and what you'll notice is I had to Gorilla Glue. You see it here. Gorilla glued that on and then for some reason I say earlier this morning that hadn't been used but somebody had been in because the tartar shower as I call it was closed and I'm pretty now convinced which pitch was the prime suspect I can't I'm not gonna say, I'm not, not gonna name it because unless you actually got quite 100% proof you, 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 you shouldn't really do that but we caught somebody on CCTV carrying something out of here um, and we were able to see what they've been sort of up to and uh, let's put it this way, when you've got a towel over your arms and you're holding something, it doesn't really conceal what you've done, the crime. And also, outside, so I see the little lights on there now, we can see who is about and um, yeah so gorilla glued a shower head on with two shower heads in two days um, and we're pretty convinced we know exactly who it was maybe I should just sort of like mosaic out the face shouldn't I and show show them doing the um, show show them leaving here entering the crime scene Shall I report it to the police? The showerhead police. Yeah, absolutely unreal. Right, full full big clean up in the minute, um, including stepping inside the tardis shower um, and everything. But yeah, two days without, uh, sorry, one, 24 hours without a, without a showerhead being stolen. Footwear and being a campsite warden. So, I can't, I can't cock my leg up properly here. Look, 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 look there. So when it's very wet, out, out when you're walking about, I have to wear Wellingtons because, um, well, the ground's wet. And I sometimes put a pair of hiking boots out when the ground is not ringing wet like it has been prolifically for the last couple of months. Anyway, Fitbills, the uh, footwear company, links in the description below. As you know, uh, Lee got some Fitbills recently that he's been using, and I've been wearing Fitbills for getting on to a couple of years now. Um, reached out and said, do you want some work shoes? So now the torrential weather from January, February, and March are out of the way. I said, yeah, go on then. So they sent to me, can you see it? They sent to me a pair of work shoes, which are waterproof. So, um, yeah, so there's the box that they come in, and here's the Fitville work shoes that they've sent. So I'll just give you a quick spin round on these. And I know I keep saying this, but if you come to the nurseries and stay with us, check out what footwear I've got. Because if I've not got Wellingtons on, I will be. I, I always have Fitbills on. So as I say, these have um, uh, allegedly are waterproof. They're super lightweight, not not top heavy or anything like that. They've got the Fitbill wider fit here on the toe. So unlike a pair of a well-known branded shoes and trainers where you've got the real narrow on your toes, I always get my little toe always gets scraped on it. Um, it's got the water drainage on the groove, see, see here, and it's, as well as being waterproof, they're actually stain resistant and the material can be wiped down. Um, and it's got the, I can't really show you here, but it's got the padded heel, the sort of spring heel, and it's got a lovely, you see the collar here, padded collar, and it's got the, um, the high rebound foam insert so um 
yeah, these are going to be what I'm going to be. In fact, I might swap my Wellingtons. Today, the rain that we had has actually subsided and apparently we're in for some heavy rain, but the grass is still very, very wet. So rather than the Wellingtons, I am today going to, when I finish video in this, I am actually going to put these on. And um, for remember, I'll give you an update of how we're going on. So as I say, Fitbills, uh, and they've been a great brand to work for. You see the brand in here is not in your face or anything like that. Um, and Lee, as I say, he's had his hiking boots on for the last couple of days. So um, I'm going to give these a whirl. Take my Wellingtons off. And the other thing with uh, the nightmare with well wearing Wellingtons all the time is it's not easy on your feet when you're doing all the steps that I'm doing. And I much prefer lighter footwear. So um, we'll be giving these a go. As I say, I am going to put some links in the description down there below with a campsite warden discount code. And, and I know I know that some people out there, some of my, my viewers, my watchers, um, have purchased Fitvilles in the past and have been delighted. And um, I'm one of the YouTube channels that stayed in touch with Fitville because I've been very loyal to them because the, the, the quality of the footwear... So if you remember, it was, you know, a couple of years ago now, was it 18 months when all the YouTubers all were going crazy for Fitville and then they all drifted away. I've stayed with them. And again, check my footwear if you come and stay with us. See what's on my feet and I'll put money on. If I've not got Wellingtons on and I'm working, it'll be Fitville's. Right, Wellingtons off and Fitville's on. It's time to get myself some dinner. I've just found Mumby. It's been he's been hibernating for the winter. I thought he'd gone been stolen or had gone AWOL. Um so these are some items for people, uh, including we've still got a toilet sink, these will be having to be disposed of soon. Um Mumby, I forgot the person now. Was it I don't think it was last year, I think it was the year before last. It must be uh two years old. Look, I've just found Mumby again. I just it was in it was in here. Um, I was just showing Dave and Trace, Tr Dave and uh, Tracy um, the cupboards, and um, he's appeared. So let's put Mumby back on this. But sorry, Mumby, I thought thought you'd gone AWOL. And if you remember, Karen on one of our seasonals actually made this one for us as well. Um, isn't that fantastic? So they're not for sale, but they're up as a. As a greeting and everything. Um, so yeah, so Dave and Tracy are in and settling themselves in. I'm not too sure what's going on. I don't know. Whoa. Where's all the egg boxes come from? Um, I've got no idea what's going on here. But we seem to have got a million egg boxes. Uh, and they're going to be getting the essential shop open soon. Anything else? It's been left over. Spoon. Drying pins. A bit of astro turf. What's that? Just an old sheet. So they'll be getting the, um, as well as the cafe open, the essential shop will be back open very, very soon. So give them a couple of days for them to settle in. And, um, the cafe I've just locked and then obviously the cafe will be given a, a clean bill of health Freeze will be turned back on you know who remembers all the ice creams last year Mark did a fortune on ice creams um, Yeah, it all needs a, a full wipe it's not been in use for um, for some time uh, I was just going to do something oh, I need to walk, walk I need to go over to my van I'm going to risk risk taking the raincoat in from today and risk taking my wellingtons in um i might just bring back a thicker my thicker coat my warm coat not my raincoat because apparently we're in for a heat wave and the blue bottles are back look look at these look, 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 look. big blue bottles um we'll be getting a complaint won't we somebody somebody will do a review and go oh there was blue bottles and yeah, 
people have actually done that. Right, just before today's arrivals arrive, I'm going to just dive over to my right, So Russia is not in the... Not in the oh, you're under the table today, Russia. We can't keep, we can't keep track of you, can we? Right, what are you up to? Do you want a treat? I need to come and get my big coat. Oopsie daisy. You're coming up, Rush. Come on. Let's see what we've Tasty got here. Mini packet finish. I'm going to do these ones for now. I've got some, these are Steph sent. Uh, Russia, that's Russia's cosy. Got some pooch and mutt, turkey and hemp, calming. Three. Right, let's see. Right, I'm going to try one of these. Right, right, right. Rashi, right, 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 what are you doing? Wait, 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 wait. Try one of them. How's that? Right, right. So you've got that. I've got one tasty meal. I'll give you a couple of those. And I'll give you some gravy bones as well. Right, 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 right. Come here, Daft Dog. Where are you going? You've got those there, but I think you're going to, you're going to prefer these here, aren't you? There you go. If anybody would think no, nobody's ever fed you, wouldn't they? Hey, how are you? Right, that's my Wellingtons inside. Um, I'll just put there for now. They're normally sitting in the awning. My Fitbills are on. I know that my Fitbill trainers that I normally have use are there. My vacuum needs a hoover out, doesn't it? A cup of coffee from this morning. I've got um, a burger in the fridge up at the up in the cabin. Right, some of you will remember this thing. It's a battery jump pack. Um, so I've got somebody on touring who's got a flat battery. So all being well, we'll go and get that car started. And this was gifted to the nurseries by the Travel Trolls. Thank you, Travel Trolls. It's going to come in handy. So this Once is this again. battery pack. So I'll just give your car a quick crank. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this off. And it's got a flat battery. And then you can see whether this actually works or not. So. Okay, yeah, no, that's not, yeah, all right, hang on, turn it off. Okay, try it now. So there you are, do, 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 do these battery packs actually work? It's like straight, absolutely straight away, lifesaver that one, isn't it? Absolutely yeah. diamond that, yeah. Yeah, lifesaver, so we've, we've actually used this, um, not millions of times, but several times now. Uh, and this is the jump starter built in air compressor uh, JF Eguo, Eguo, 3000 amp, 12 volt. Um, and as I say, if you want more information on that, you'll need to go to the Travel Trolls channel. They did a review for um, uh, a much larger unit. But that was, a, that was an Audi. The engine would not turn over. It just would not turn over. You, when you heard it, you've seen it. Uh, so this isn't a product review or anything like that. That's just, yeah, real life. Uh, and literally, turn of a key, connected, engine started. That's a, a lifesaver. If you're in a remote location, you end up with a flat battery. Just think of the mess that could get you out of. Right, as the cafe will be coming back to life. Guess who I've just brought back to life? Now, if you weren't watching the vlogs from last year, this isn't going to make any sense at all. But... Hello. I've bought Pop back to life. Pop, Pop lives for another day. Pop the parrot is back. Tanner Reef, the parrot in the tree, is sat on lower branches. He needs to be elevated up soon. But meanwhile, Pop the parrot. Pop the parrot. Pop. Here he is. He's back. So I'm just going to put him into um, on top of the hat stand again. Up and down a minute. And this little this little parrot here is a bit. He's, you're, you're looking a bit wobbly, aren't you? I need to fix him back into parrot. place. How are you doing? You okay? You all right, Pop? And uh, little Pop and super little Pop and little parrots. So the parrots are back to life. And meanwhile, my burger has just gone out of the microwave. And I'm all ready for this afternoon's arrivals. Uh, <laughs> right. And so before I end, my... Fitvilles have been on today. Proper bruised and battered from not only walking on stone, walking on grass, walking through mud, helping people push caravans and countless things like that. Um, they have been super comfy. 
so as ever we'll give you some feedback on these over the next few days see how i'm getting along with them uh, and some of you is it very windy some of you will know an app called fix my street uh, and it's basically if you've got um potholes to report or things like that you can use this app and the farmyard well, it's not a farmyard coots lane that comes through the farmyard to keep mentioning his highways i've reported it several times on um let's get, get out the wind i've reported it several times on fix my street somebody sent me a message saying something's going to be done in may allegedly anyway uh, the potholes are getting bigger and bigger and bigger it's become a little bit like the surface of the moon and so i've just done a short one and a half minute little video which i put onto some of my other socials including tiktok and i've sent it to a, a local reporter as well and i've re-reported the state of the road on coots lane to on fix my street uh we'll get there don't know when don't know how but we will get there we will get that road sorted out so to end the video here's me having a it's not a rant all right it is a bit of a rant well this is what this is what i'm up against um and we've actually been getting a couple of bad reviews because of this as well which is um a little bit frustrating so to end this video here i am having a bit of a a ransom mode. A campsite warden and a campsite called the nurseries in Mumbai in Lincolnshire. And this road through what comes through a farmyard looks like it's a farm track, an unadopted farm track. This road is highways. Is this one of the most potholed roads in the country? This is not unadopted. So I'm now on my third year of reporting this to East Lindsay Council on Fix My Street and nothing's been done. This is really bad if you've got mobility issues, if you're not able to walk too firmly because when the rain comes down this isn't a road, it actually becomes a lake. Look at the state of that. And people think when they come to the campsite, it's, um, it's a farm track. This is not a farm track. This is actually highways. Mm -hmm.